Hey yogis, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing one of my signature vinyasa style power flows. We'll be focusing on strengthening in the beginning, really building some heat, moving through some dynamic and challenging transitions. And then after that, we will slow it down and move into some nice restorative, stretchy postures that will have you feeling nice and relaxed. So before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll meet you on your mat. Let's go. All right, yogis, today we're going to start in a rag doll position. So come to the center top of your mat, feet hips width distance. Go ahead and bend your knees, hang heavy over your thighs, grab for opposite elbow creases, and then just allow your body to hang here. So just taking a moment in this inversion, start to breathe a little bit. Maybe a little rock from left to right. Just allowing your body to wake up a little in the back of the legs, head and neck. Let's take a full breath in through our nose and a full breath out. Just breathing easy here, release your left hand down. On your inhale, reach that right arm high, maybe you bend into the left knee a little bit. On your exhale, release it. Let's try the other side. Inhale, reach that left arm all the way up. Find a big stretch, exhale down. Go ahead and toe heel your feet towards one another. Start to bend into your knees. Come up on your tippy toes, lifting the heels, bringing your palms together at your heart space. Let's start to check in with our breath here. So let's take a full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Once more, just like that full inhale. Open mouth, exhale. On that exhale, go ahead and sit all the way down on your bum, cross your legs. Rest your palm on your thighs facing up. Allow your shoulders to come down and back. Close your eyes. Starting to breathe in and out of your nose from here. Activating that ujjayi breath, that victorious yogic breath. As you sit here in stillness, allow yourself to separate from anything going on off of your mat. Notice your energy. As we sit here, make a commitment to yourself to be present for this practice. Everything you have to do will be waiting for you. There is nothing more important than cultivating deep awareness within, moving your body and freeing yourself of old patterns, old structures, diving in to allow something new, something greater, something more freeing. Once you've recognized that ujjayi breath, slowly shift your weight back on your bum, lift those heels up, find a boat pose. Right away, we're tapping into some strength here. I know this is a lot. You can do anything for five rounds of breath. Maybe straighten those legs just to dive into the challenge a little bit more. One more inhale. On your exhale, cross your legs, plant your palms, step back to a high plank. From that high plank, lower halfway down, elbows squeeze into your ribs, up dog on your inhale, send your heart through, lift your chest, engage your quads, exhale, downward facing dog, using the strength in your lower belly to send your hips up and back. First down dog, pedal out through your knees and feet, up and down on your toes, allow it to feel good, and then come to stillness. All those little micro movements, they matter. So spreading the fingers wide, sending your weight towards the inner soles of your feet. Breathe. 
Next inhale, look at your fingertips, bend your knees, and like a spring on your exhale, journey to the top of your mat, feet come together. Inhale for a halfway lift, fingertips to your shins, level out through your spine, belly up and in. Exhale, forward fold, grab the back of your calves and pull your forehead down. Next breath in, root to rise all the way up, stand up for a mountain pose. Go ahead and grab that left wrist, and on your exhale, stretch up and over to the right, feeling a side body stretch. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, up and over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, forward fold all the way back down. Take a breath in, lift halfway. Exhale to take that chaturanga, that high to low plank. Up dog on your inhale, down dog on your exhale. Three breaths here. We've got one more round of our sun salutation A. We're warming up the spine, really starting to move with our breath. Inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, journey to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward. Big breath in, root to rise, reach up, grab that left wrist. Exhale, stretch to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. I know I'm moving a little fast here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, find that chaturanga. But just know all of this movement is optional. You can modify just as much as you want. You can leave things out or add things in. I am just giving you a blueprint. You get to create this practice. Three breaths here. Inhale, look at your fingertips on your exhale, spring it forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold with your breath in, chair pose, sit low, reach up. Okay, start to charge up through your thighs, your triceps, biceps, reach. Full breath in, full breath out, sit even lower. Feeling everything start to turn on here, another inhale. On your exhale, sweep your arms behind you. Charge up through the triceps as you send your weight to your left foot. Send your right heel back for a warrior three. Get really strong, full breath in. On your exhale, take a Shiva squat. Tuck the right knee to the outside of that left knee. Sink low into the left knee and press your palms together. Good, inhale, back to warrior three. Feel that left leg charge up. Exhale, get low, Shiva squat. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, get low, Shiva squat. Good, inhale, straighten. Exhale, chair pose, sit low. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit an inch lower. You may already be feeling this in the legs. That's great, that's the point. Full breath in. Exhale, sweep the arms back, send your weight into your right foot, send your left leg back. Exhale, Shiva squat, get low, press the palms together. Inhale, straighten and send the left leg back. Exhale, get low. You guys got this one more. Inhale, exhale, get low. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, airplane arms. Lift those heels. Send your weight all the way down. Belly connects with your thighs. Think up dog in the chest for a sparrow pose here. One more breath in. Exhale, plant your palms, bend into your elbows, find the shelf with your upper arms, find a crow pose, lifting those toes right away into an arm balance. You got it, full breath in. Exhale, vinyasa, shoot back, halfway down. Up dog on your inhale, down dog on your exhale. Whoo, three breaths. Now you guys have got the tone of the class. Let's move on. Inhale, send your right heel all the way high and on your exhale, bend that knee, stack your hips, roll out your ankle, find some lubrication in the hip joint. Next breath in, send it long, level out through your hips. Exhale, right knee taps the right tricep. Pause, feel your core turn on. Inhale, send it all the way up. Exhale, right knee to your left tricep and then send it all the way out towards the right. With your breath in, reach your left arm high, press into that right palm, fall in triangle, engage your obliques. Exhale, set the left hand down, take a push up here, lower down and back up, pause. Okay, keep your weight into that right foot, 
gently bend the right knee. You're gonna step the left leg all the way up and in between your hands, okay? So I'll demo that one more time. Fall in triangle, bend into that right knee, step the left leg up all the way through and in between your hands. Very nice, on your inhale, find a standing split. Reaching that right leg high. Walking your hands towards your left ankle. Breathe here. Another inhale. On your exhale, lower your right shin down to the ground to the inside of your left leg. Sink your hips back to that right heel. Bring your palms together, thumbs to your third eye. Take a breath in to gaze up. And on your exhale, find a bow. Okay, so this little bow in this practice is going to be a place where you can reconnect before we move on, before we leap off back into movement, allow yourself to feel, to notice, to reconnect with that presence, that breath. Next inhale, press into that left foot. Sweep your arms high, reach your right knee high for a one-legged Tadasana. Another balancing posture, grip with your left toes, full breath in. Exhale for a figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee, press your palms in towards one another. Sink a little deeper into that right hip, feel it open up. Inhale, reach back up. On your exhale, step back to a reaching crescent lunge. Your fingertips reach behind you, your left knee sinks deep, your chest reaches forward, a long line from your heel all the way to the crown of your head. One more inhale, exhale, plant your palms, step back, take a vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left heel high. On your exhale, bend that knee, stack your hips, wiggle it out a bit. Take some big circles to really open up. Breathe in, level out through your hips. Exhale, left knee, left try, pause. Feel that strength. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, send it all the way out. Find, Find that fallen triangle, reaching your right arm all the way high. Take a breath in. Exhale, take that push up. Down and up. Really nice work. Now press into that left foot. Sweep the right foot all the way up and in between your hands. Little crisscross step. On your inhale, standing split. So these same four postures on this side. Go ahead and start to dive towards that right shin. Breathe here, try and keep your hips level, but really focus on the sensation happening within that right leg. One more breath in. Exhale, come on down, lower the shin. Time to reconnect, palms together, big breath in, gaze up. Exhale, bow in humility. Bow to yourself. Share some metta, some loving kindness. Next inhale, we're standing all the way up, pressing in that right foot, reach up, one-legged Tadasana, finding that balance. Exhale, figure four, get low, press those palms together, flex that left foot to protect the left knee. Inhale, send it back up, and on your exhale, that reaching crescent, this time sinking into the right knee, sending your left shin and hip forward, pulling your shoulder blades down and back, and leaning as much as you can. Another breath in. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, flow. Every vinyasa is an opportunity to wipe the slate clean, to start over again. Breathe here. Now we're flowing through that same pattern and adding on to it from here. Inhale, sweep your right heel high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, up. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Stretch it out. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the palm, take that push up. Inhale, step that left foot up, loop it through, plant it on your exhale. Inhale, standing, split, reach the right toes high. 
Exhale, baby Hanumanasana, right shin down, palms to touch, gaze up with your breath in, take a bow and your breath out. You can stay here for a few more rounds or move with me. Inhale, one legged, ta da, reach up. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, leaning crescent. Here's where we add on. On your inhale, loop the left hand behind your back. Reach your right arm high. Gaze over that left shoulder, exalted crescent. On your exhale, bend into that right knee. Give it a little tap. Good, inhale, reach back up. Exhale, give it a little tap. Inhale, star pose towards the right. Heels in, toes out, gaze up. Exhale, warrior two towards the back of your mat. Now we have reversed our whole situation here. So bending into that right knee this time, reaching your arms wide, gazing over those right fingertips. Flip your front palm. On your inhale, straighten your right leg. Grab your right wrist. And on your exhale, pull it up and over for a sky archer. Feel some space happening here. Full breath in. On your exhale, cartwheel your arms down towards the back of your mat, step it back and flow. Downward facing dog. At the back of our mat, we're always gonna start with our left leg swinging high. On your inhale, reach it up. Exhale, left knee, left try. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee, right try, send it out. Inhale, fall in triangle. Exhale, plant, push up. On your inhale, reach that right leg up, step it all the way through. Standing split. Breathe in. Exhale, baby Hanumanasana, lower the left shin down, palms to touch. Taking that gentle bow. Next inhale, Standing all the way up, weight into the right foot, one-legged. Exhale, figure four, sink low. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, leaning crescent, chest forward, reach back. Adding onto this side, loop the right arm behind you. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your left arm. Gaze over your right shoulder. Exhale, bend into that left knee. Good, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, star pose, heels in, toes out, turn left. Exhale, warrior two, back towards the top of your mat, sinking into the left knee, reaching your arms wide. Focus on pulling the left knee out to the left, sending your weight towards the back of your right foot. Really engage your inner thighs. Feel everything lifting up and out. Flip your left palm, straighten your left leg. Grab that left wrist, inhale, reach up. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down, find your flow. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here, prepare yourself. We have a couple more add-ons to that flow. Really tapping into that energy within you, that prana, that life force. Let's flow, inhale, reach your right heel high. Exhale, right knee, right try. Inhale, reach it back up, you know where to go. Exhale, pull it across. Inhale, fall in triangle, stay at your own pace. Exhale for that push up, make it count. On your inhale, lifting the left foot. Exhale, plant the left foot in between your hands. Breathe in, standing split. Breathe out, lower the right shin. Inhale, thumbs to third eye, gaze up, open up. Exhale, take a bow. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lifting the right knee high. Exhale, figure four, get low. Inhale, reach back up for transition and exhale, leaning crescent, right toes back. Inhale for that exalted crescent, look over that left shoulder, exhale, lunge in. Good, inhale, reach, exhale, lower. Inhale, star pose is next to the right, open up. Exhale, warrior two towards the back of your mat. Inhale, flip the right hand, grab the right wrist, reach all the way up and out, reverse triangle or sky archer, and on your exhale, cartwheel that left hand to the inside of your right foot and reach your right arm high, finding a big breath in. Exhale, 
Find a fallen warrior. Spin onto the side edges of your feet. Open up through the outside of that right hip. Reach back, gaze at your right thumb. Next breath in, set your hand back down. And on your exhale, start to sweep that right leg up and back. Breathe in for a three-legged dog. Breathe out, come to a high plank, holding that right foot high. Pause right here. Feel the strength. Feel your body start to shake. Know that that moment right before we break through the other side is the hardest part. One more inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Move through. Woo, that felt good. Down dog. Inhale, reach your left heel high. We've got one more side. Exhale, left knee, left try. Inhale up. Exhale, left knee, right try, send it out. Reach up on your inhale, fall in triangle. Exhale, take that push up. Last one, make it count. Inhale, lift the right foot. Exhale, plant the right foot. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, baby Hanumanasana, left shin down, palms together. Inhale to connect with that intuition, your third eye center. Exhale to take a bow. Here we go. Inhale, stand up, reach up, lift that left knee. Exhale, figure four. Inhale, back up. Exhale, step it back, leaning crescent. Inhale for exalted crescent, left arm high, gaze towards the right. Exhale, bend it down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, turn open to star. Exhale, land into that warrior two. Inhale, reverse it, left palm, you grab, pull all the way up and out. Exhale, here's where we add on, right palm plants, reach up with your left hand, finding a nice easy twist. Take a breath in, exhale, spin on the side edges of your feet, reach towards the back of your mat, fall in warrior, feel the IT band stretch. Inhale, back up, exhale, plant your palm, step that left leg back, three-legged dog for the breath in. Exhale, high plank, holding the left foot high. I am right here with you. I am also struggling, but we've got this together. We can make it through. Keep breathing. If you fall out, get back up. Right beyond the discomfort is the growth. One more inhale. Exhale, vinyasa. Down dog. Full breath in. Exhale, lower your knees. Sink your hips back to your heels. Lift your chest. Rest your palms to face up on your thighs. Take a breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Find a few breaths here. Maybe bring both palms over your heart. Feel your heart beating. Feel your body working for you, getting stronger, more resilient, more dedicated to this practice, consciously working towards the ultimate goal, being a more well-rounded, loving, kind human being. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, release your palms down. Tuck your toes under, hips up and back. Slowly start to walk your feet all the way up to your hands and we will just come to a stand here. Rising all the way up, pulling those shoulders up to our ears and dropping them back down. Palms open up by your sides. Samasthi Tihi. Full breath in, full breath out. On your inhale, open your eyes. And on your exhale, go ahead and step that left leg all the way out to the left. Parallel your feet with one another. And on your inhale, reach your arms all the way high. With that exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Take a breath in to open up through your head and chest, gaze up. Exhale with a flat spine, start to hinge forward. Once you no longer can have a flat spine, release. 
Let your arms come up and over. Try and keep the palms towards one another, maybe even touching. Breathe here. Slowly release your hands to your lower back and then down to the ground. From here, you can stay as you are or start to work into an inversion with me by interlacing your fingers and then bringing the back of your head into that interlace. Start to send your weight forward. Maybe just play with lifting one toe or the other. Maybe not even lifting toes, but just shifting your weight into your toes. And then maybe you rise all the way up into a nice supported headstand. If you want more from here, go ahead and take eagle legs. So wrapping the left leg over the right quad and then bending into both knees. You may feel a little arch in your back, that's perfectly fine. Eagle legs go ahead and unravel. Let's try the other side. Right leg wraps around, bending in. Use that breath. Unravel, big inhale. Exhale, slowly come on down. Plant the feet. Press into your palms, lift halfway with the breath in, and on your breath out, walk your hands all the way back to that left leg and find a half pigeon. So bringing the left knee to the left wrist, the left ankle to the right wrist, straightening out through the right leg, sit up tall. Now before we fold here, I'm gonna take a nice little quad stretch. So big breath in to reach your right arm up and back, bending into that right knee, maybe you're able to connect it. If so, maybe start to pull that heel towards your glute. If you want, you can even loop it into the elbow, maybe even reach the left arm up and over, connect your fingertips. Whatever variation works for you, just take a few breaths. Slowly release that right leg. Take an inhale. Exhale, sleeping half pigeon. Relax your forehead. Melt into this posture. And this is the part of our practice where we begin to surrender. Just simply meaning to let go of all of the effort and allow your body to relax into these deep stretches without holding any expectations, any destination of where you should and shouldn't be. Just being exactly where you are and trusting the process. That is surrender. Next inhale, slowly start to sit up. On your exhale, roll all the way on to that left hip and then open your legs up wide here. From here, take a breath in to reach up. And on your exhale, go ahead and release that right arm down. Reach your left arm up and over, finding a nice big side body stretch. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, drop that left arm, stretch up and over towards the left. Inhale, reach back up. And on your exhale, fold forward. So just like that standing forward fold, but 
this time we're seated. Okay, so you may not feel like you have as much mobility here, as much room, so just be gentle with yourself and take your time. Next inhale, slowly start to lift your chest. And then we're turning towards that right leg, moving into our half pigeon from here. However it works for you, maybe a little bit of an awkward transition. That's okay too, they're not all graceful and beautiful. Next inhale, reach that left arm up. Bending into that left knee and then finding that quad stretch. Whatever variation you took on the other side, take here. A few rounds of breath. Once you're ready, slowly release it. Sit up tall to level out through your spine and then dive forward into that sleeping pigeon. Couple more rounds of breath here. Next inhale, slowly start to lift your chest. Send your weight into that right hip and this time just loop the left leg all the way up and in front of you, reach the right leg forward as well. Sit up tall here, full breath in. On your exhale, just dive forward. A couple of options here. Maybe you want to keep the knees bent, round your back so it feels really good on that lower back. Maybe you want to keep your legs straight, keep a nice flat back to work more into the hamstrings, whatever works for you. Next inhale, start to lift your chest, and on your exhale, allow yourself to lower all the way to your back, bending into your knees, <sighs> finding a little rock from left to right. From here, set your heels down on the earth. Bring your fingertips up beside your shoulders, elbows point towards the sky, press into your feet and palms, and on your inhale, finding a full wheel or a bridge if that works better for you. Just one big back bend, three breaths. Once you're done, slowly lower down. Allow your body to rebound for just a moment. Feet wide, knees touch. Allow your palms to rest wherever feels supportive. Finding our last postures here. A couple of easy twists. Just wrap those knees into your chest. Go ahead and tee out your arms and then take whatever deepness or variation of a twist you like. Maybe it's just dropping your knees, taking a single leg twist or a twisted root. Just respond to what your body is requesting. Breathe. Knees back in through center. Swap it out, find the other side. Inhale. 
inhale, bring your knees back through center. Find any last postures or shapes that you may need before we take our final resting pose. When you're ready, just meet me there. Legs long, palms by your sides, facing up to receive. Allow your jaw, all your muscles around your eyes and face to get soft. Give yourself as long as you need here. And when you're ready, just start to deepen your breath. Let that deep breath inspire some movement. Bring some energy back into your body. And then maybe finding a big good morning stretch, arms up over your head. And then rolling to one side or the other, pausing for a moment and meeting me in an easy seat. We'll meet with our palms open, a symbol of acceptance. Every time you come to your mat, every time you push yourself past your comfort zone, you are expanding physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. It has been my honor to guide you. As we bring our palms together, connect our thumbs with our third eye, we take a bow in honor of one another. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for moving with me today. If you liked class, make sure to subscribe, comment below. It really helps my channel grow and I appreciate it so much. You can connect with me on Instagram at Kirstie Page. Other than that, I'll see you next time on your mat. Peace.